Thank you. All right, you might not know, we have an amazing place to take in art and see some of the world's best American pieces right here in Connecticut. You also may not know that the great New Britain Museum of American Art just got better. Hmm. New renovations make it a great place for a family outing or class to bring out your inner artist. Take a look. The New Britain Museum of American Art is the first museum in the world dedicated solely to collecting American art. And now you can see a whole lot more of it. Our first stop, the new Shaker Gallery. Currently we're in the Stephen and Marion Miller Shaker Gallery. Um, the Shakers were a group that emigrated to the United States from Manchester back in the late 1700s and really thrived by way of their furniture making up until the mid 1850s. Fortunately, we're one of three museums in the country to have a gallery devoted solely to Shaker art, um, the other two being the Metropolitan Museum in New York and also the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So we're really excited that we have this space finally dedicated to something that is born and raised in Connecticut. In the early 1800s, there were about 5,000 Shaker people living in Enfield, and they were strict with their rules. Every time a member entered into the Shaker community, they had to place their signature into the covenant. And there were a number of rules to be abided by in the Shaker community, first and foremost, a vow of, of celibacy. Strict and precise, Shaker furniture is known for being perfectly constructed. You'll see that all of the pieces of the drawers were dovetailed together, perfectly fixed to one another, so that, that would eliminate the use of hardware. So as we come through this passageway, we're officially in the new wing blessed with two new atriums that are flooded with natural light and a beautiful overlook over Walnut Hill Park. Never before have we had the space to put on display Native American artwork. And so this, I think, is one of the most exciting new galleries for folks to visit. The expansion now brings 17,000 square feet of new exhibition space and plenty of room to display art in a chronological order so it makes sense. As we're going, it's like we're going along a path of history. Correct, absolutely correct. From the Hoffman Gallery, which starts in the late 1700s and colonial portraiture, until you get to a bachelor gallery, which shows artworks from 2000 to the present. Um, and so with the new space, we've really been given the opportunity to really more deeply interpret a number of different art movements and periods. When you come here to the New Britain Museum of American Art, be sure to take a load off because even the benches are art and there are seven new ones as part of the renovation. Be sure to take in the museum's famous murals by Thomas Hart Benton, depicting life in America. And chances are, you'll see something new, too. This is Frederick Carl Frizicki's birdcage. Uh, this is one of 20 artworks that was acquired in a 16-year span in the early 1900s, between 1908 and 1924. Um, we're talking about a time when we were acquiring 20 objects in 16 years. Uh, fast forward to nowadays, where in the past 15 years, we've acquired nearly 6,500 objects. Um, that's a drastic change with the times. <laughs> you can see why they need more space. And now there are also more places to learn about art. So we have three new classrooms. The one we're sitting in is the largest of the three. It can accommodate up to 60 students at any one time. They also have classrooms for budding artists and lots of Saturday programming for the kiddos. By the way, it's free to come to the New Britain Museum of American Art every Saturday. Yes, every Saturday. This is just a breath of fresh air, beautiful wide open space. Yeah, it certainly is. This that we're standing in is the museum's new 3,000 square foot Stitzer Gallery. Here you'll find artwork created in the present from the year 2000 until now, plus plenty of special exhibition space. You might recall we profiled Dalton Getty, an amazing Connecticut artist who transforms pencils into intricate art. His work is on display here now. So come enjoy this new elegant and cheerful space. By the way, the security guard in the front, he isn't real. We promise you'll think he is. That's not real? It's not real, but yeah. our photographer Eric Buddy and I, we could not stop staring at it. Like, can we touch him? He looks so real. Um, for more information or to plan your visit or to take one of the many, many classes at the museum, go to the website nbmaa.org. We'll, of course, link that to betterct.com. We have wreaths.